Hi all dinosaurs and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm super 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 excited because I have a brand new box of dinosaur toys to show you guys. So basically we have the latest models from Schleich 2017 releases and this is the new T-Rex very happy and inside this box we have lots of other dinosaurs like Collecte, um, Natural History Museum, this is actually my first ever dinosaur models from Natural History Museum so I am really really excited so let's get started okay first model that we are going to take a look at will be this brand new Tyrannosaurus Rex and this is from Conquering the Earth series which contains let me see Herrerasaurus, Allosaurus, T-Rex and the Carnotaurus. So let's take a look at this. So this is the brand new 2017 sculpt and not a T-Rex. Oh my goodness. I was hoping that they can actually produce like new um, species um, but you know they produce another T-Rex again. So basically if you compare this with the previous one, this is the older sculpt. But this is a blue version. I feel this is a slight improvement. Okay, the legs, the feet are actually smaller. The details as usual, they're pretty amazing. But in terms of accuracy, it is definitely not in the same league as you know the Peppos and the PNSOs. But this is always what you can expect from Schlag. They always um, tend to produce toys which will uh, appeal more to the younger audience. But I feel this is a slight improvement. As you guys can see, the head is actually uh, narrower. The teeth, as compared to the previous version, is much better. Um, each tooth is actually of different length. So that's good as compared to the previous version. Um, and in terms of um, the hips, it's definitely way better as these hips, they are just way too chunky. So yep, so this series actually contains Herrerasaurus and Allosaurus, which are relatively still um, considered new. So here it is, Herrerasaurus from Conquering the Earth. A weird looking dinosaur and of course we have the Allosaurus which I'm not a huge fan of okay this doesn't look very nice I don't like this part right over here so let's proceed to the next one okay the next one let's see this is the one which I'm actually looking forward to is the Carnotaurus okay let's open this up with a pair of scissors Where's my scissors? Okay, it's right over here. If you guys are using a pair of scissors at home, please have your parents to supervise you, okay? Okay, let's open this up. Carnotaurus. Okay. Taking a look at the sculpt. Looks very interesting. Reminds me of a pangolin. Take a look at the scales. Kind of weird looking, I would say, but I love the paintwork. So you guys can see if you compare this with the previous version, this actually looks better. And those two tiny little arms of a Carnotaurus, they are actually much smaller than a T-Rex. So that's accurate in a sense. But what I don't like about this figure, which I'm gonna review right now, are those two horns. I feel they look super weird, it's way too long and you know, just, just look kind of weird to me. Can the jaw be open up? Oh yes! Oh, take a look at those teeth. They look like teeth um, of a herbivorous dinosaur. Okay, they are way too blunt, way too um, straight and um, they are of similar length. So that's not too accurate for me. Um, the body sculpt, I feel just looks weird to me. It feels like armor, very scaly. I still prefer this, although um, the head sculpt of this 
wasn't very well received. But overall, I still prefer the older version. Okay, in terms of the texture, this is definitely more durable than the previous one. The previous um, Schleich models, they have this very rubbery feel to it, which can get damaged very easily if you knock them into sharp edges and like, um, like rough surfaces. So this is definitely more durable. Okay, the tail is not flexible, it's pretty hard as compared to the previous one, which is like slightly rubbery. Okay, so yep, these two are the latest models from Schleich. There's a Velociraptor which I did not get because I don't like the raptors from Schleich. Um, the feet to me are just way too huge for this. I guess they made, it, made them very large to balance them because nowadays it's very hard to find dinosaur toys which can stand very well. Okay, oh, so we have the Carnotaurus right inside. Shall I open this up and let's have a look at what other dinosaur toys are inside this leaflet. Using a pen knife, please, please, please be really careful if you are using a pen knife, okay? So basically it says that um, Dilophosaurus, Kandrosaurus, Carnotaurus. So all these are from Conquering the Earth series. Let's move on to more dinosaur toys. Okay, this one right over here looks very exciting. We have a dual pack dinosaur collection from Natural History Museum. And this is actually my first huge, not really, my second one. Because the first one is actually from um, Safari Limited, Diplodocus. This one looks super, super cool. Take a look at the details. I love the colors. It's very realistic. Nice. Let me open this up later on. Oh, take a look at the tail. Oh my goodness. Is this like damaged? Okay, I, I guess it's like just very long. The Cantrosaurus definitely do not look accurate. The head shouldn't be pointing upwards in my own opinion. Okay. Mm, but the main thing is um, the Diplodocus. So let's take a look at what's behind. So basically you can find a timeline and some interesting facts about Diplodocus and Cantrosaurus, pointed lizard and double beam. Okay, next let's open up this one right over here. This is a dinosaur from Collecting. It's not a new model, it's, a, it's an old model. I got this cause I do not have it. And what dinosaur is this? Let's take a look, okay? This is known as... Paralitidon. Paralitidon, I hope I got the pronunciation right. So this is actually my first model of a Paralitidon, okay? A sauropod dinosaur and take a look at this. Pretty nicely done as what you can always expect from Collecte. The tail is slightly flexible which is cool. I like it. The neck is also slightly flexible as well. So it's not entirely super hot. Very nice. A 2009 model. My first ever Paralatitan model. I'm happy with it. Okay, next, let's take a look at this and Kylosaurus. And to be honest with you, I only have like um, two and Kylosaurus model. And um, the first one is actually from Mojo. So this is my second one, okay, and Kylosaurus. Um, what do you guys think of this sculpt? I feel the armor looks very small. I'm not too sure. Cross. If this is from a museum, I expect it to be really, really accurate. So what do you guys think? Is this accurate enough for you? Not really for me, I'm not too sure. But this is good. Sales of this products support the Natural History Museum. So this is from Natural History Museum, which is really good for a good course. So I'm gonna try to cut the wires loose 
I'm gonna use this pair of scissors. This is a pretty heavy duty scissors. Oh man, this is hot. This is tough. Okay, you're gonna cut this right open. Done with one leg. But this one is like super, super deep in. So it's hot for me to cut. Okay. Got it. Next one. Get out. Oh, this is tough. I do not like, you know, dinosaurs which are packaged this way. Like the feet are like shackled to the box. I hate it. Okay, done. Done, finally. But we will have to remove this later on. So let's take a look at this. This is a 20... Um, it's not written below. So it's actually an Ankylosaurus Natural History Museum and the address of this company right below pretty cool i'm happy with this okay not super super excited but still looks very good i'm gonna need all these toys um i mean all these models from for my new video okay next let's take a look at this my first ever Prehistoric Flying Reptile This is a Ramphorhynchus My first ever Ramphorhynchus I like this kind of packaging, it's easy to unbox And this is from Safari Limited Okay So I'm just gonna remove this from its packaging Okay, how do we do this? Okay, that's pretty easy. So let's have a look. Ramphorhynchus. I don't have much facts about this prehistoric flying reptile for now, but take a look at this. Awesome details. Okay, the wings actually reminds me of um, the purple pteranodon. Very nice weathered feel on the underside of the wings. The 2010 model. Wow, I'm excited. I'm gonna use this for my um, toy box video. You know, those baby dinosaurs with you know, a flying reptile holding an egg. So this, I'm gonna use this in my next video. This is super cool, I love this. Wow. So the, uh, the tail has um, a diamond shape end to it, which looks very nice. You can see some nice um, creases. Not creases, like those fine lines on your palms. Okay, looks very similar. Super awesome. The jaw, um, is there an articulation? Nope, there isn't. A dough, it looks like it has, but it's not. It's just a different piece. The lower jaw is a different piece. Cool, very cool. So if you guys have like information and facts about Ramphorhynchus, do drop it down below in the comments. That'll be super awesome. And Everyone can learn from everyone. That'll be super nice. Okay, next, another one. This is a prehistoric uh, marine reptile, which I do not have. I can't remember which one I purchased. So let's take a look at this. Okay, there isn't a perforated line, is there? Oh yes, there is. So that's cool. Perforated lines means those dotted lines for you to tear apart. So what is this? Make a guess. Make a guess before I say, oh, have you guys seen the name below? Because I don't even remember myself. So let's take a look. Oh, so we have a Dolly Kareem Corps. Okay, let's remove the, this mask. Pretty nice. This is a collecte model. Or a pretty old model, I would say. 2012 okay relatively all right not too old and not too new <laughs> okay so yep i'm gonna use this for my marine battle i'm not too sure okay so dolly and kareem cops very cool my first ever dolly and kareem cops as well i guess i mean if you do not count those small little figurines from safari tubes so this is my first actual dolly kareem cops 
Nice, I like it. Next, what do we have? This one looks super, super cool. This is also my first ever Plesiosuchus. Plesiosuchus, okay, I beg your pardon. So this is from Safari Limited. Let's open this up and have a look. Nice, take this up from the pack. Please, your suckers. I'm not too sure, you know, the facts about this creature. I have not done my research beforehand, but this definitely looks like um, it should be a prehistoric marine reptile. Okay, just making a guess. The 2016 model. Oh, that's super new. Okay, but this surely do not look like you know a 20. 16 standard from Safari Limited. You know, those 2017 models from Safari Limited, they are super dope. Okay, my first ever Plesio Suckers. Oh, these two legs, I mean, the high legs look like those legs of a, uh, a frog. Do you guys think so? Okay, it looks a little bit like a Tylosaurus as well. Okay, those stripes. Cool. What else do we have inside this box? The last one. What is this? A Patasaurus, Diplodocus. Let's have a look. Let's open this up. This should be a pretty old model. Make a guess, everybody. Is this an Apatosaurus? I don't think I would have got an Apatosaurus from Collecte. Let's have a look then. 3, 2, 1, review. Oh, what is this? Ceteosaurus. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I remember now. So basically, this is also a um, sauropod dinosaur. Not much facts about this guy for now, but you know, I hope that you guys like this. Um, a pretty old model, a 20... let me see... 2008 model, so that is like 9 years ago. Okay, this is a very basic model. It's actually on a discount right now if you purchase those old collecting models. Yep, so basically this cost like maybe like 3 to 4 dollars only. So that is, that is quite, you know, good value I, f I feel. Okay guys, so oops. So these are all the new dinosaur toys uh, in my toy box. So how many dinosaurs and prehistoric animals do we have? Let me count, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wait, wait a wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, 11 of them. So which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments for me. Okay, this one is not counted. Okay, so we have 10 dinosaur, new dinosaur figures. For me, this is tough. Okay, to be honest, I like this a lot. The Ramphorhynchus looks super amazing. I like this a lot. Um, I like the new T-Rex. I'm not a huge fan of the Carnotaurus. Um, the Diplodocus looks good as well, but I'm still gonna go with... Okay, maybe I'll, I'm just gonna name my top 3 favorite from this box. Number 1, I'm gonna go with Ramphorhynchus. Number 2, possibly this T-Rex. And number 3, I'm gonna go with the Diplodocus over there. What about you guys? Let me know which one, which ones are the best three figures in this box okay if you guys can let me know that would be super super awesome okay guys i think we have reached the end of this video and i hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing video okay do let me know in the comments which ones you think are the best dinosaur models inside this box and if you like this video as usual please leave a like um comment and i will definitely reply to you 
If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. We upload dinosaur videos every single day. I mean, I, okay? And yeah. And I also have a second channel, so do check it out, okay? Second channel where I upload gaming videos and vlogs. So that's all for today's guys. I hope that you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys tomorrow. But before you go, check out the previous video right over here. Another video right over here. Subscribe if you haven't do so. And thanks for amazing support. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Goodbye.